to be able to to help them realize you know that it's, it's not 21 is not the deadline you know so the doctors told my mother when I was 10 that if you know if, if they're lucky if, if she was lucky I'll be 12 then I turned 15 then they're like oh my god if she's lucky she'll be 18 and when I was 18 I was like shit. I was like fuck it you know I'm not gonna sit here and, and just wait to die what type of waiting so to die you're not, alone you're live long, like inception you know Life is so I was like there are so many people that just wait you want that to ask me to do your stuff Aside drug, I think it's the love and support you get from friends. The encouragement and not your self-pity. Because we don't want self-pity. We want encouragement. You can do it. It's just being honest, I guess. It is. It is pain. And, and if you listen to what she said in the beginning, she said, You wake up in the morning sometimes the and... Side here. Sekusa has no respect for time schedule you know ask my ask my brother their days their days we would have a filled you know schedule we plan this from morning to good night and it kicks in it, it kicks in and you know it's just me trying to mm, 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 bear it mm, I have stuff to do so yeah it is pain it is it is pain Outside of the physical pain, it's pain when you can't keep appointments. You know, it's pain when you have to spend these three wonderful hours out of your day, if you're lucky, to sit still and hope the physical, um, you know, the, the, the physical discomfort goes away. So yeah, it is painful. It's it's painful. For your family and friends to watch it's painful for you know for work pain pain is pain is relative and and, and i think what she was trying to say is it's not oh sickle cell is pain this is the end of my life you know it's it's sickle cell takes your time it, it sometimes controls your activities and the way you you would live your routine you know it messes up a lot of stuff once that pain sets in i've been off work for two weeks and the first day i got back to work somebody goes oh you wash out you know mm. that's painful because you don't know what i'm going through mm -hmm. so that prejudice associated with with all that in itself is 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 hurtful so I think that's what she meant when she said sickle cell is pain. She didn't mean like, oh my God, I'm trying to be negative and this is the end of the world. Because, mm -hmm. you know, she, she the, the founder of Sami, she's helped a lot of people. She helped me. Because I, I came in this country trying to make a difference. And I realized it's not that easy because everybody, you know, or most people that have NGOs have somehow ruined the whole idea of it. They're, they're using it to, to their own benefit and not necessarily taking care of business so it makes the rest of us who are genuine look bad so that I think I think you know I don't think she meant pain like oh, it's, it's such a bad thing or it's the end of the world but back back to what I was saying about um you know about about my my vision so to speak, mm -hmm. is I'd, I'd like to help people see from, you know, it's, it's like looking through their own eyes, you know, help people, they don't, well, people are tired of just having doctors sit there and tell them, yes, yeah, sickle cell is this, you have X chromosome and Y chromosome. Oh, if you cross it, you get X, Y, Y, Z. Fuck the bullshit. You know, we want to see us. We, we want to hear us. We want to we talk to us. You know, I, I, I feel better if, if someone that knew what I was going through helped me 